sequencing, you know, performance, you know who Roush is, and 85% of the moving components in this engine are unique to the GT. Forged steel crankshaft, forged aluminum pistons, H-beam style connecting rods or manly rods, dry sump system. Sitting up on top, this is your Lysum screw type supercharger, division of Eaton Corporation, max boost 12 PSI. Now, if you're wondering, well, what kind of specs? Okay, you're going to be impressed with this. 550 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque, 350 of that torque available right off the line. So you can imagine the launching capability on this car. Now, one thing special I'd like to point out, I hear a lot of manufacturers that love to say, oh, we have a better power-to-weight ratio than the Ford GT. Well, you know what? They may, but it's all gearing and torque and how well you take the power and put it to the ground that gives you your actual zero to 60 times. Our car's been published with a zero to 60 time because, remember, mid-engine, the weight is exactly where you want it over the rear tires. We have the six-speed manual trans mission that I told you about, the gearing, the torque, our GT launches itself to 60 in 3.3 seconds while still in first gear. Top speed in excess of 200 miles an hour. Our car holds its own with incredible exotics like the Enzo Ferrari and the Porsche Carrera GT and they are magnificent European supercars. This one's all American. Now if you're wondering what kind of brakes they put on a car that moves like that, Brembo's of course. Four piston calipers, we have 14 inch rotors up front, 13.2 in the rear. Tremendous stopping capability. Of course, independent suspension, front and rear, double wishbone type, unequal length control arms. The car's all about handling performance and putting a big old grin on your face. And when you talk about pricing, the Enzo, the sticker's about 650. The way I'm told that they're going for somewhere around a million. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. The Carrera GT, magnificent car. I had a pleasure driving that one too, and that car goes for about 450. MSRP based on our American supercar, 156. Loaded out, you're in the 170s. So when you combine it with the history and the heritage of that legendary GT40 that stood for everything good about American racing, put it together in a beautiful modern day interpretation. Call it the Ford GT, capable of not only holding its own and excelling in so many areas with Europe's finest. You can see why it's the pay car for our entire company why we love this car so much here at board.